though the ruler was killed at a music festival in Exposition Park. Well, today is family announcing a wrongful death lawsuit against entertainment giant Live Nation. The lawsuit claims that there was not enough security at the event. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang joins us now live in Hancock Park with the developing details. Kimberly. Glenn Sandra High, his five year old son and son's mother, along with their attorneys, were here today to announce this wrongful death lawsuit. Attorneys also played this cell phone video from the night of the incident. Take a look. Now, they say this was the fight leading up to the stabbing death of 28 year old Daryl Caldwell, better known by his stage name, Draco the Ruler. It happened December 18th behind the main stage during the Once Upon a Time in LA Festival, which was held at the Bank of California Stadium in Exposition Park. Attorney they say Draco had no security and they say the gate was not secured, allowing the public to run in and out. The family is now suing Live Nation, which helped organize the event. Bobby D presents, C3 presents, and Jeffrey Schumann. The concert festival, which was expected to feature several artists, including Snoop Dogg, 50 Cent, and Ice Cube, was canceled after the stabbing. Draco was also set to perform that night. Attorneys say he should have had better security. His son, Caden, and Caden's mother also spoke today. People are coming through that fence originally, and that fence is the outside. That's the public right there. People are coming in. They, they're able to corner Draco, and again, it's approximately 40 to 60 people were able to get into this area who were adverse to, to, to Mr. Caldwell, mm -hmm. and then they closed the gate back up to, to then corral him back in. Oh. Tell him how you feel about that. I love my daddy. <laughs> I did let him know, you know, that his dad is not coming back, but then just a day after he's like okay is my dad still gone mm. and I'm like yeah he's gone like we're not gonna be able to see him again mm. and it just sucks for Kaden because he's only five and his dad life was taken away from him Live Nation was also behind the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston, where multiple people were killed and hundreds injured during a Travis Scott performance. Now, Draco started releasing mixtapes in 2015. He, de he debuted his first album, The Truth Hurts, in February. Draco had been released from jail in November 2020 after reaching a plea deal with L.A. County prosecutors. Previously, he had been acquitted of felony murder and attempted murder charges. Live in Hancock Park, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Thank you.